Hello, fellow furniture dorks. I'm Teresa with Rave Home Collection, and welcome to another edition of I Don't Know What I'm Doing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Melissa Morrow. Um, so today, we're going to get ready to this because we'll have some chatty time mm -hmm. kind of in the middle. But um, Sue has been working on a project for a while now, and uh, we've got this smoky glass. <laughs> I should just throw you under the bus, Miss Sue. <laughs> some of the smoky glass here uh, that goes on the top of her project and well the reason it's been taking a while is because we have a product launch that we're going to tell you about but we mm -hmm. can't until July 1st yes. and we're using that product launch on her product on her piece so mm -hmm. uh, yeah so it's kind of been sitting back there right so this we can do because this is gonna be part of it to make it pretty and right. we can tell you how we're doing this exactly so for this what we decided is this this particular piece that she's doing has a lot of metallic mm -hmm. and we thought about doing the faux mercury glass you mm -hmm. might have seen my video on uh, creating faux mercury glass mm -hmm. where we use lots of stinky spray mm -hmm. but it's so pretty when it's done it's gorgeous mm -hmm. when it's done and i have seen a video on this now i'm gonna be quite honest and i haven't tried this technique either oh great I I just feel, I've just watched right, videos. It. She just literally said that just now. That's all right. It'll be yeah, fun. So I've just watched videos on this. So <laughs> we're going to see if we can do this. But that's okay because the secret is I'd never done anything with that one until mm. I did that video. So okay. that was my first try on that video. So okay. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling right. fairly confident. Batting a thousand here. All right. Okay. okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to use a Maker's Studio gilding size. And we also have a Maker Studio Gold Leaf. Yes. Now we sell both of these online at ravehomecollection.com and we sell them in the store. So if you like this, this is fun for you. And if you don't have a place to do the other mercury glass type thing, um, this is a potential faux option that mm -hmm. you may really like. Yeah, I'm excited That doesn't to try involve it. all the stinky, stinky chemicals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm excited to try All this. the overspraying we have. You'll notice what we're not using today are our Klingon brushes. We are not. Um, and that's because we really don't want any water near this project. And I also wanted a little bit firmer yeah. of a brush. Yeah. So I've gone back to some of my old brushes. I love these. These um, are like some of my favorites. Yeah, these, these were my favorite brushes yeah. before the Klingons came around. And so now they seem to be like dust off brushes and things like that. But these were my favorites before the Klingons. Um, I would have to, I, I don't know if these are stall masters. They look, the shape, the handle shape looks like they would be that. Yeah, they don't have the red binding here. Yeah. But Pretending um, like I can see without these are definitely, yeah. these were definitely expensive brushes. Mm -hmm. They, but you can tell that I'm really good at leaving things in water because it's got all that rust on yeah. there. Sorry, right. but they've, so, I mean, they've withstood the test of time here. There's still a great brush. Nothing, you know, bristles aren't coming out. Right. So right, I'm going to shake this up. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. And you know, as we're a little closer today too, we want to be able to make sure that you can mm -hmm. see our, yeah, I'm our sure. glass. Let's see how we do this. And we taped the surface off because Sue thought that you might be able to see the glass better on paper versus our usual very messy oh, table. Paint splattered table. All right. Oh, wow. Who's joining us today? Is everybody doing all right? Hey, Have I a good weekend. grip over there. Friend Shannon is watching. Sue, I Hello. need gator grip. Sue, I need gator grip. Oh, oh. Um, Gilding size is what this is called. All right. I'm going to do this the way you do it. That way. Ooh, whoa. Wow. That was almost fun, right? I don't, I don't Live know. TV. Oh, 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 look, already. Already we're working. Oh, no. See, I was right. just helping. You were just. So we're just going to literally paint this on okay. in um, a fairly liberal dose. And what we needed to do is to get kind of tacky before we before we add the gold leafing. Okay. How many of you have ever worked with gold leafing before? Anybody out there? And I've got to say, I haven't because I've seen folks work with it. And frankly, it just, for me, it seemed tedious because I'm lazy and I just don't like to do things that are tedious. But I've oh, seen it like it. on picture frames and stuff. But on this, you know, you use the full sheets, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And then it just, it, I think it, a bigger surface area for me would hold my attention span a little better. So. I did kind of pre-verse her on what we were doing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I halfway now. 
Especially half what you're supposed yeah. to have. The other half has no clue. So uh, I have gold leaf before, and I actually think it's quite fun. I don't know why I don't do more of it, to be yeah. honest. Do folks seem to like it? Do you think it, it, it's stuff that people usually would like to buy? I mean, um, you know. You know? I, is it a specific uh, thing or you think? I think it just are... depends on the piece. You know, there's a lot of things that I like to do that people like to buy, you know, neutral, 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 mm -hmm. neutral. But I like to do things that are a little more, zhuzhed up. That are zhuzhed up, yes. Right. So, and I really like that with staging. So, yeah. Um, this doesn't feel like it would take too, too long. Now, I have no. Am I supposed to be getting rid of my brush strokes and crap? Uh, not necessarily. I'm, you know, I'm just weird that way. All right. Well, just when you say you like brush strokes, you don't do it, and then vice versa. Now I'm going to do it like you, just so it's more or less even here. Yeah, it does seem to set up relatively relatively quickly. Does yeah. it matter that you've got drippage around the sides of the uh, It shouldn't really. Well, I don't like drippage, and I'm taking care of mine. How am I looking over there, Miss Sue? Yeah, it's hanging on the I don't left. Want to... <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the point. So this is basically like it's going to be kind of like a glue, effectively, yeah, right? Okay. And so, <laughs> Sue is killing her. And you know, so, man, what we want you. then is I have a spritz bottle here. These are our Mister bottles, and I have this full of uh, ninety-one or yeah, ninety-one point nine per no, ninety-one percent, ninety-one percent. Sorry, I can't okay. read my own handwriting here. Ninety-one percent isopropyl alcohol. Okay. Um, and so, what we're gonna do then is we're we've got this down and. We've got it fully covered. Okay. Um, and then we're just gonna, in a couple of areas, we're gonna spritz so that we're gonna leave some voids, okay? okay. Um, and it'll puddle a little bit. So if you weren't going for some of the voids, you could literally just gold leaf on this and it would be completely through. Correct. But this is giving the kind of vision of a mercury glass, how that would look. Right, and so what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna take my paper towel, it's just a plain paper towel. I forgot that alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I'm just going to kind of tap some of these and I'm going to remove okay. some of the more, um, some of these pieces so that there's some opening. Nicole and, Gassi and Lizzie Washburn are watching and awesome. they um, just tuned in. So if you want to recap, that would be helpful. Yep. Can I have some of that too? You surely can. And so what we've done so far is we've got this smoky glass from a project. We've added a, um, a maker studio gilding size and we're gonna be adding some gold leaf. So far, all we've done is lay down the gilding and we're spritzing this with some 91% isopropyl alcohol. And what we're doing, and then we're using our paper towel just to lift up some of that sizing because we wanna leave some little voids that are not gonna, um, that are not gonna stick as well. I'm so dramatic. And how much you wanna do or little you wanna do this is entirely up to the look that you're trying to create, right? Okay. All right, that doesn't seem too painful. The problem is this is a misting bottle instead of a squirt bottle. Yeah, so, so it doesn't necessarily puddle. Exactly. All right, but you can make it a little bit. But basically what we're trying to do now is randomly lift some of that size. Now the piece that's under this is painted black. So normally if I were doing this on a piece of art, let's say, and um, you could use this technique to get um, sort of a faux mercury mirror, um, then I would want to paint black afterwards. But since the piece that we're doing has, has black behind it, I'm not, I'm not terribly worried about that. All right. I just like these Mr. Bottles. They're fun, are they? Yeah. And I'm just going to take my paper towel and, and just sort of randomly pluck just in case there's right. some little beads maybe that will. Okay. Oh, All right. I'm happy with my random pooling and plucking. Okay. So now what we want to know is it is it starting to get kind of sticky? I want to leave it for another minute because we've been, we've been um, you know, popping at it. Right. So now this isn't something alcohol. you would want to force dry with any kind correct, of heat. Correct, correct. Okay. Because we don't want it to completely dry. Okay. We just, just want, want it to, get, to tacky. get tacky. Gotcha. Yeah, it really doesn't seem like it takes that long to do. I'm just picking off a little bit of the paper towel that I inadvertently yeah. got on there. We don't want that to show through. Right, right. So yeah, I'm just going to let this sit for just a minute here. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down mm -hmm. this gold leafing. This is the part that makes me nervous. Makes you nervous? A little bit, a little bit. So one of the key strategies when we lay this down, we're gonna lay it down in sheets, in full sheets basically. Okay. One of the strategies is we're gonna overlap. Okay. So we don't leave like a whole line okay. that doesn't have it. We can have randomness, but we don't want like, like an open entire street. open lines. Gotcha, gotcha. Right? Okay. Okay, so I think we probably waited yeah, long enough. Pretty it tacky. feels pretty tacky. Mm -hmm. um, so then we're going to, we're going to literally just pull this, okay. pull this back, okay? How does this count? Are they separated just before? They're separated by these little tissue papers, okay? okay? Let's so so there's one for you, there's one for me, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to literally just lay it right down oh. on my glass. All right, hang on. So... And I'm just gonna. I am. So this is the part that we're putting down. Yep. Okay. And I'm just gonna gently rub my paper okay. with my hand. All right. Laying this down. Like a burnishing. Kind of like burnishing. Yep. Okay. Lay it down. And, that's all and then I'm gonna lift. Oops, I didn't mean to get my tissue paper on there. And then I'm gonna yeah. lift yeah. my piece up. Mine come off so easy. Huh? <laughs> it just kind of fell off there. Maybe I'm doing these backwards. No, you're is fine. I just accidentally okay. had my tissue paper oh, on, gotcha. the, on the glass. So. All right. And then I'm gonna again. I'm gonna overlap it. Okay. Just oh, or not? So just kind of. That's okay too, I guess. Kind of. Just right. tap that down since it kind of flew off my paper. All right. Oh, it's flying over here too. That's okay though, I guess. Just get it in there. It, Big it, shipment coming in. It, what do we have? Is that ours? Yeah. It might be my rugs. Oh yay. This one stuck in my finger, so I'm just going to say it kind of sticks a little bit, but it's it's kind of fun actually. Yeah, so I'll just use some of these little pieces to kind of fix my little gapage here. Oh, so I see. So when, let me just look when you left yours over. See mine, the one that mine just left. mine just landed. Okay, because I left over the top, so I'm just taking off the little pieces that are not. Yeah, mine at all. mine mine didn't okay. mine mine floated off my paper. Yeah, that's fine. so you know. All right, I think mine's gonna, all right. All right, so let's give it a go. Keep adding your little chunks and pieces to it. Little chunks. So how was y'all's weekend? Anything exciting, any thrifting? I always ask about the thrifting. I know, I really meant to go thrifting and then I, and then Father's Day happened. Yeah, Father's Day happened. How's everybody's Father's Day? It's funny, my um, my husband, uh, well, we have a dog, so he's a fur dad, and my son was working last night, and so I said, I'll take you out to where he works for Father's Day, just for something fun, just to bug my son, too. Totally forgot my wallet. So... He ended up having paid for it. Patrick paid for his own Father's Day dinner. <laughs> good job. Yeah. Like, sorry. But it's all good. Sometimes that's the knock. Yeah, it was really tasty. Really good. It's just fun to see my son clean up dishes for a change because he sure as hell didn't do it at home. Mm -hmm. But it's all good. Yeah, my um, my son and his wife and their kids, and then Lily and her husband, and um, they came over and nice. We did a little barbecue. Oh, that's nice. It's fun. It's hot. It's a good day for a swim yesterday. Yeah, we went swimming. That's cool. Um, I have this float that John got me, um, we think last year for Mother's Day. Right. That he finally put together yesterday for me. Very nice. What Was it a like a unicorn or a, what was it? No, it's one of those like, um, like old school lounge chairs for the oh, pool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do like, know what you're um, talking about. You lay back in it and it's got like little pontoon arms. Mm -hmm. and... I do indeed. All right, I'm trying to just fill in my little spots here. How are you liking it? Um, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. I know this looks messy, but I also know that at the end we brush over this to make it all right, like blend. So you just want to fill in your little spots. So um, yeah, my anal brain is going, oh, I don't know about this. Then I know it's gonna look pretty. Nicole says some of my family picked up antique farmhouse finds for me. Ooh. Ship Shawana, Ohio. 
don't it's know. It's an amazing Amish country flea oh, market. Oh, wow. The Amish are very talented. I haven't heard of it, but I think there's a road trip. I'm just going like to say, you just got Sue's attention. All right. I'm doing this a different way. I don't know why, but it seems to be working. I mean, the objective is just to get it, get on, it there. on there. Yeah. And not wear most of it like I'm doing. Oh, it's kind of cool though. This is going to contrast nice with her, not contrast, compliment nice with the bands around the piece that we're trying to mimic. Piecing it all together like a little cross, a little puzzle. Yeah, just you just gotta fill in your little spots. And it's going together pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean it's really not taking a bit. Like I said it looks a mess, but that you just end up brushing all. The but who doesn't stuff enjoy off. making a mess when you craft? Come on, part of it. Oh my gosh, she just said the magic words. They have auctions too. Oh god. Oh no. Milk cans, butter crocks, chippy enamel stuff, barn we've, wood. We've Sue's lost already. We've lost her now. Yeah. She's blacked out. She's done now. Thanks, Nicole. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we've <laughs> lost her now. She gone. Ship Shawana. I gotta see how far away. Oh, it is. there she goes. Like literally, I, I feel a road trip in your immediate future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems theoretically possible. Yeah. Doesn't it? All right. It's only a 15 hour drive. Only a 15 hour drive. And you lost me. I'm not that patient. Although I actually depends. don't mind road trips, to be honest. Yeah. Mostly because I'm a car sleeper. <laughs> well, then you're just riding along. That's fun, though. I can't sleep in a car. You can? Oh, my God. I, I like a baby. It. Can't do it. Looks good. Oh, John and Sue make fun of me on road trips because they claim that I have a I have a little button in my in my tushy that <laughs> that uh when when I'm in the car for a little while it activates and and, then, and sleep ensues and then you're gone and then I'm gone sleep ensues and that's funny and I'm over. All right, she says it's worth the home cooking when we get there. Ooh, I mean I do like home cooking. You might, you might have got me in there on that. I like food. All right. And I'm going to use some of my little extra pieces here to That's what I'm trying fill to in some of my other pieces. I can see how this would make some people crazy. Hmm. But I also didn't have far to go. So Okay, so it was funny when we were training. You, you weren't here yet. You were still giving your notice at your other job. Mm -hmm. And we were training the staff on how to use this. Right. And I had them gilding a piece of furniture. And, um, oh, I think I'm out of it. Oh, no, I'm not. And uh, we had, we had, it was silver gilding then. And we had silver gilding floating around this place <laughs> for at least a week, little pieces. And I bet if you go through some of the boxes on the shelves, probably you probably will still find little random pieces of silver gilding. Mm. It's a twofer um, okay. floating around, jump, right? See, you were jujin before jujin was cool. That's right. It's all good. What are y'all thinking so far here? Are you getting the visual? I kind of I'm getting the visual on how this is going to turn Nicole out. Nicole says it's looking cool. Cool. Thanks, Nicole. We'll see here. And so, then, so this doesn't, like we talked about, this will be obviously underneath coming up through, so mm -hmm. you don't, this will be the finish, like, after we Right, we don't have clean to seal it, up it or and, anything. Okay. Most people, because this is going to be on the underneath side right. of a tabletop, and there's something under that even, Okay. then we don't really need to do anything to protect this. Okay. Um, if we... We're doing this as like a mirror, or not a mirror, but like a a decorative piece that went on the wall or something. Uh -huh. You could like when you do the like the mercury glass, you you put the um, the faux or you you spray the back okay. with like a dark spray paint or whatever. Okay. Um, or you could paint the back, and in this case, we're not doing that because it's just not necessary. Okay. 
that I get. It does but, use a few sheets. It does use a few sheets, mm -hmm. but but you know, this whole pack of gold leaf is only eight dollars and fifty cents. Oh wow, that's not bad at all. So what a deal. What a deal. Yeah, so it's not like this is like it's not like this is twenty dollars, you know. Yeah, it's not the um, price of actual it's, gold. Yeah, it's less than the cost of like a transfer That's for a true. surface That's a good comparison, comparison, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it would cost you similar for two transfers that would cover right this something this size. And look at the beautiful finish. Now, how much time do we have to work this in before our tacky becomes dry and it won't adhere? Um. I don't know the answer to that, to be completely honest. Okay. Um, but I don't think we're going to be in any danger here. Alrighty. I don't think I'd put it on and go watch a movie. Right. <laughs> you know, um, I think that might not be a good plan. Oh but gosh. I think if you're working, you know, I probably wouldn't do a super large space, maybe. Okay. Right? All at once. I would probably work in sections if I were doing that. Okay. Like if I were doing this on a piece of furniture... I would probably do like one leg and then another leg. Or okay. Do the front of a piece yeah. and then Not pretty on furniture. That's something like you were just saying about the other piece. I might have to do a little. This will be pretty like on a black buffet with like gold oh, just on some legs yeah. or like going across in a zag. Or even just the hardware. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the hardware. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. You would probably have to seal it then, wouldn't you, you think? Like, I probably would seal it then. Just a regular top coat. All right, I think I'm starting to get on the home stretch here. Yeah, I think I've got kind of. I might have to do like three or four <laughs> oh, more sheets. Just when I thought I was. Well, Melissa, just start throwing your excess over this way. I was gonna say, give me some. Have some. Thanks. But you've got to blow it everywhere. That's all right. Yeah. Clear. Including oh. into my gilding, which might not be the best plan. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. This is fun. I it stuck to me. I got it. Can I actually? And one of the things that I love about this, and I loved about it when we did it this last time. What's so funny? What's happening? Because I'm here going, I'm just kind of like, get in there. Is that you it gets. You guys are going to leave here like golden goddesses. Right. Today. Right. Is that um, it kind of crinkles in spots. Mm -hmm. And I, I, like love, that. I love the texture that mm -hmm. that gives. For sure. Um, this kind of puts me in, I don't know why. Because it's so much thinner, but I'm just thinking of Hershey's Kisses right now. Like the, 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 the wrapping. <laughs> these, would the almond, these would be the almonds. These would be the almonds. That's ones. right, the gold ones. All right, I think I have like two or three more sheets to go. And then I'm on my little. Oh, and I've got more. Okay. All right. All right, so let's. Oh, yeah, a little stinker. All right. Almost done here. Here we go. Maybe yeah, it is literally it. flying all over, which is fun. It's actually really fun, though. It is. It's even funnier when we take the paintbrush to it. And I know. I can't wait to see that. All right. So, just don't know. All right. I think. Yeah, I, I think it's. Go. I think it's super inexpensive for the look. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. Because it does, and this is going to be seen through the glass, so that's going to be cool. And we are not doing anything on the outside glass that will be seen, right? But that is, you could. We could, yeah. Right? So you could um, you could then lay transfers or a stencil or something on the other side. Okay. We're not going to for this piece, but you could. You could also do a stencil before, like on my mirror one, before you lay this down. Okay. As long as you did it with something that wouldn't that wouldn't be watery. Like you couldn't use like a chalk paste. Oh, I gotcha. A ch it would be activated by the gilding, right? Okay. So you would need to use like a paint paint. All right, that makes sense. All right. Like a general sheet. finishes or fusion would be a good choice. Okay. Probably. Kill off her. She's got some Do you have some stuff over there? I, I think I can avoid not having to use another sheet. If I just oh. grab some crap off of here. Yeah, I think you probably should just sheet up that one section to be honest. All right, and then this stuff is okay. <laughs> Well, it started out as one solid piece. Yeah. I used to know enough for... Just sheet it up. kind of cool. There we go. That's true. It's like gold confetti. I'm actually having a really good time. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, I, I'm not even... It's for like sure. BS and I'm serious. It's for sure messy. Yeah. I'm not my messy. I need an excuse to be messy. I'm taking some of your stuff. Oh, it's too late. It's kind of stuck. It's too late for that. <laughs> that ship has sailed. Well, I mean, we're going to have some of this brushed away anyway, so. Yeah. 
All right, I'm rolling with this, I think. Hmm? I'm rolling with this. Okay. I think. Yeah, I am. I'm, I feel comfortable. So I've kind of gone over mine, and I've just sort of burnished it in with my fingers. Okay. Um, the, the objective here is not to get rid of all the excess. It's just to make sure that it's all down. And remember, some of it's not going to go down because we put the alcohol down say, yeah. in order to make sure that it didn't all stick. And that was our intent. So. That was our intent, right? Was to have some areas that are not sticking. When you're finished, will you be able to see through it like mercury glass? Um, not so. quite. Uh, I mean, in the areas where we don't have any, and we may add some additional areas if possible. If we don't feel like we have enough. Okay. Although I kind of look, looking at mine, I might feel like I have enough. I don't know. Okay, so then we're gonna take our um, chip brush. And the reason I chose the chip brush is because this one's got sizing on it. So everything will just stick to this. Uh -huh. And then we can, by the way, we can just wash this with soap and water. So we've got some um, what Dawn detergent in the other room and uh -huh. some fusion brush cleaner in the other room. We'll just use those to clean these. Okay. Um, but for the chip brush, it's going to get gold all over it and we may or may not be able to clean it. So I just decided we would, <laughs> we would use this and all we're going to do is gently brush it away in any places where it's like, it's loose. We can just use kind of the side of the brush okay. to, to work it. And what that's doing then, I don't, I don't know if you can see it on mine. Let me try to lift it a little bit. By doing that, what's happening is those places where I sprayed, it's actually pulling it up. Right. Right. So that it's giving me those, those sheer hmm. areas. Could you take a super fine grit sandpaper or would that be too much? Um, I think you probably could. Okay. And one of the things, if I didn't have an, if I didn't like the way it was working, Right. Is I was thinking I could go over it again, possibly with the alcohol. Okay. And sort of use my brush to sort of remove it. You just got to be super careful okay. because you want it to look sort of more natural. Okay. Right? Which is why we did it the way we did it in the first place. Okay. Instead of a sandpaper, could you just use the brown paper? Like oh, paper maybe a paper bag? bag. Yeah, a paper bag uh, might be better. Well. Yeah, I bet so. I don't know what the lowest grit sandpaper is. Well, you'd want high. I mean, yeah, the, I meant the finest. I'm pretty sure I have some 600 grit sandpaper in my purse, actually. Right. Which sounds funny to anybody who doesn't like know me. Oh, well, you can get the water sandpaper, like the yeah. water 2000 or something. All right. It's like most people don't really walk around with 300 grit sandpaper in their purse, but. I would stun the world if you knew what I walked around with I, in my I bet purse. there's more people that do than, than you would believe. Yeah. I have. I feel like, you know, the, the old, um, the old price is right, I think it was, when you used, they used to pick you based on, you know, what do you have in your bag? Mm-hmm. That was the old one. Oh, no, no. That's Let's Make a Deal. Oh, Let's Make a Deal. Okay. Oh, yeah, it was. Money Hall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like I feel like I could have gotten on the stage. I don't know how well I would have done on the show, mm -hmm. but, but your purse could have got you there. I think my purse could have gotten me there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it feels nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. It goes. It just goes in really nice. Yep. Yeah. You have some good voids going on there. You do. Nice some, yeah. What are y'all thinking so far? It's hard to see. So you can kind of see, yeah. Some little voids. Amy Powers tuned in. Hi, Miss Amy. And I love like the texture, just kind of from the. Yeah, just kind of rub off what you can, and the rest of it just sort of falls in. So now around the sides, if we don't want it on the sides where we got it on the sides, we actually can take sandpaper. Okay. To that. Okay. Just to get it off, you know. We're really, again, we don't want to scratch the glass. <laughs> We look like princesses. Oh, we're all covered in gold. Yeah, we are. Amy says hello. 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 All right. Well, we're not going to have an hour and a half show today. That's okay. We're going to make up for it on Wednesday. Yeah. But what are we yeah. doing on Wednesday? I don't know. Thrift haul. Y'all need to get a thrift haul. Or yeah, something. Have to go thrift haul. Uh -oh. we'll, we'll come up with something. All right. I'm excited. This is all cute. Right. All right. Let's look one more time. This, and you can, you can see kind of through. That one's nice. What do y'all think? And this is going to go over this top the of back the table. Side. This is the back. So it basically looks like an old mirror. Right. Yeah. But with sure. gold instead of silver. Yeah. If you use the silver, 
It would completely. As a matter yeah. of fact, maybe that's what we do with some of this extra time is where we have the voids. Maybe we should put silver over it. We could do that and give it a try. What do you think? Do so what? Where we have the voids, put silver over it, or should we just leave it the way it is? That's entirely up to you. All right, you want to show them the reveal on the other side? Ooh. I can see you. So you can see through the parts that are. Our yeah, let me, let me um, come up there and show you. Do you want me to bring out my place. table so we can see what they're going with? If you would like to do that, that would be cute. This is, I forgot what side I'm on here. Okay, so this is the side that I did. Oh, I like this. I'm going to turn off the light because it's just creating a huge reflection. Yeah. So better. can you see how it still kind of has... That mercury glass, that old mercury glass feeling. Cute. I like this. And this is all cleaned off here. What do you think? That's going to be pretty. Now, what um, different color leafing do we offer here that you could use? Copper, gold, silver kind of thing? Or? So, yep, we have copper, gold, and silver. Okay. So there's the table. Covered in glitter. Oh, that's so neat. I like it. So we uh, might have to fly in a little bit or let's see. Can you see the top of there? What do you think? Pretty spiffy. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Do you like it? Do you like the uh it's also people? Do you like the the gold mercury glass look with our gilding materials? I like it. I think let it us gives know what you kind of let us know what you think. We love it. Super cute. Okay, guys. So um, I think that's our show for today. I think it is. It was, um, it was a little shorter than usual. Uh -huh. I'm gonna come back there. Yep. Yep. But we thank you for sticking with us on this, this new project that we have just done yep. live for the first time. So but that was easy, right? It was easy. We have all this extra princess glitter. It was fun and it was easy. It is very messy, uh -huh. but it's very sparkly. Yeah, it looks sparkly. And you can add this on a lot of things. So we added it on glass. Uh -huh. You can add it on wood and furniture. And um, again, because we added it on glass, you could like get glass faces uh -huh. and things like that. So yep, where are you seeing? Nicole is saying that this would be awesome for hurricane glass vases. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Put lights inside at Christmas time. And especially, be yeah. especially because, you know, it's really hard to spray that mercury glass mm -hmm. inside because it tends, inside glass because mm -hmm. it tends to puddle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And doesn't kind of come out. But this mm -hmm. way, you can really control where you wanted it. You could tape off part of the glass mm -hmm. and do rims. Um, now, I wouldn't recommend like drinking out of it and yeah, things like that. I, I, yeah, right. it's, it's definitely for decorative use. Um, but you could do charge, get plastic chargers and mm -hmm. um, that are clear or clear glass from thrift stores. I think there's a lot of fun things that you can do. And again, it's not super stinky. The gilding, the gilding um, paste is a little bit smelly, and of course, the alcohol is, smells like alcohol. Mm -hmm. But they're non-toxic smells. Yeah, it, and it's not like, and it's not like um, a uh, spray paint that you're going to get in mist everywhere. Yeah, no, it wasn't offensive. It was just a quick little, you notice it and then it's gone. And then it's gone. Yeah. So anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed our very quick project for today. Yay. And, um, if you want these products, we sell them at the store here, Rave Home Collection, uh, 8409 Bay Meadows, or you can pick them up at ravehomecollection.com. Thank you for joining us. We love you guys. See you Wednesday. Thanks guys. Peace out. Bye.